G'day mates, Home Slice here. Welcome back to Conarium. We're up to part 8 now. Uh, in the last episode, we solved a bunch of puzzles that have led us to this place. Uh, a hallway of some sort. Got another coffin here, and uh, this thing actually looks to be like the lid of that coffin, but anyway, let's move forward. Sprint. Oh shit, we've got more of these guys on the wall. These guys look so freaky. I actually sort of look like an Argonian from Skyrim, like reptile like. Not obviously not exactly like one of those, but similar at least. <sighs> but anyway, let's get on the move. Those guys are totally gonna like wake up and chase after us. I know it. It's been foreshadowed already with one of our flashbacks, but it's it's gonna happen. I, I feel it. Uh, is there anything down here? No? Uh, well, it seems all of these uh, holes lead to up here, so let's check it out, I suppose. Oh, it looks like we've got another flashback coming on. There it is. Sounds painful. It is depicted here, our gateway out of this world. These reliefs clearly portray ancient Conarium, the thing I have been searching for my whole life. What is it? As much as I can understand, that one depicts a seemingly dead city as an ever-living organism with lots of mummified bodies connected to the device. Interesting. Incredible. Uh, uh... And the other one it depicts an ancient cornarium which is connected to another one, most probably outside of this planet, or maybe out of this dimension. Oh my, this is just marvelous. Is it though? I don't. All that just flew over my head. I have no idea. Like, is this like what is cornarium? Is it this thing here? This eye? It's like connected to all these. He said interdimensional. Like, does he mean out of space? Like, is that why this mural of stars is here? I don't know. I I understand some of the story. Like, we've got these explorers that came to this place to uncover something, but I don't understand the whole story. I don't get it. Why are we even like playing with this bowl thing here? Got another one. No doubt we'll have to shine it out here, just like the last one. Alright, oh, we need to charge our little... Our stone. Our blue stone thing to get past the plants. I think. Yeah, yeah, it lights these up. These pillars. Yeah, I've got it equipped, so let's charge it up. Give it a few seconds. Alright, seems to be charged. He didn't say anything, they just said, hmm, and that was it, but anyway. <sighs> Alright, so, I can't remember, it's, oh, another flashback. Which way this time? No voices? Oh, oh, I can't bear the pain anymore. Oh. Hmm. He sounds like he is in a fair bit of pain. Oh, we got another one of these guys on the damn wall. Didn't notice these before. Got these frog faces all up there. And there's another one. Those two are empty. I wonder why. I wonder if it could mean anything. Maybe I'm overanalyzing things, but... Uh, was it this? Yeah, it was this way. Okay. Gotta get through here. <sighs> I think so, anyway. I hope so. Oh shit, it's black again. Oh, here comes that guy. No, I don't like this guy. We've got another flashback by the looks of it. Oh, we're gonna have to deal with these guys waking up again like the last time. Oh, oh shit, this is fucking real. Oh my god. Oh my god, I knew it. I knew they would wake up. I knew it. Uh, run. Oh shit, he just. His, oh, he's waking up these ones now. Uh, go. I've got to get through that damn door. Oh shit, he's right behind me. Go, go, 
go, go, go, go, go, go, go, go, go, go, go, go. Run for your life, Frank. Run for your life. <sighs> oh god, don't get stuck on the damn stairs now. Run. Shit, they're waking up everywhere. Oh my god. Don't stop running. Oh no, it's black. How do I get through? Use the light. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm dead. I'm dead. I can't do anything here. My thing ran out. Oh my god. Uh, oh, what the f fuck? Uh, what just happened? All these must be the products oh. of my disordered imagination and nothing more. Oh, God. Thank goodness. God, I thought it was real that time. Jesus. Oh, I need a moment. Whew, need a second to breathe here. Oh, that was too intense for me. That's too much. Oh, God, I want to get out of this place. I just want to light this pillar up. Where, uh, where is it? Here it is. Get this damn stone charged. Whatever it is. <sighs> oh, that was pretty, pretty spooky. Alright, it's charged enough. Let's go. Let's get through these damn plants. Oh. Uh, what now? Oh, well. That's another statue, I guess. Oh, here's the big bug thing with the. Oh, God. God. These guys look like they're in a worshipping stance or something. Can I. I can't interact with it. Is there anything over here? No, nope, nothing that way. How about up here? Oh, a horn? The ancient musical instrument with elaborate ornaments that are reptilian in nature. It still looks playable. Yeah, it's sort of like a, a, f a fish, right? Am I the only one seeing that? Anyway, let's take the. Maybe I have to play it. Is it in my. Oh shit. Oops, wrong button. Alright, it's not in my inventory. Can I walk past it? Oh, I can actually walk past it. Alright. I thought it, uh, that thing was blocking my way, but... Yeah, let's move on. Oh, another... Oh, it's the walkie-talkie. Don't stress. I was getting a bit spooked again. I don't know if anybody reads this. Or if there is anyone still alive out there. I hope there is. I, I've lost everybody who was on my search party. I am alone and afraid. Why? Even from the out-of-place echoes of my own footsteps that are reverberating along these halls of ages long silence. It is hard to tell if I am alive anymore. Those visions, sounds, the, the devilish scenes described in the reliefs I come across every uh, now and then. <sighs> not meant to be here. Makes sense. Dr. Faust! Dr. Oh, Faust, shit, are you he's, there? He's gone. Answer me, please! God, he really did sound lost, didn't he? Oh, I need to put my stone back on. Charge it up, just in case I need it. Alright, it's charged. Ah, oh, there were blue pillars down here. Ah, oh, oh, well. God, I'm going a bit crazy. Get past that water. Yep, looks like we're going to have more plants here. So let's keep our stone up. Well, that's a dead end. I just got to keep moving. Nothing there. Oh, God, what now? 
can't really see very well with that thing next to my face, actually. Oh, can we use it? Oh, there's nothing that way. Hmm. Oh, got some bells. Uh, I actually shouldn't hit those, just in case something happens. Uh, let's go check this thing first before moving any further. Oh, another flashback. I feel it coming. I can see it on the screen. Don't tell me. Don't tell me this guy's gonna wake up. Don't do it to me. Oh shit, I can't move. I cannot move my character. Oh my god. What? What the hell? Oh, we got a sword. Oh, a dagger. Great. Let's read this. A sacrificial dagger, wholly intact and still amazingly sharp even after all these years of desolation. The elaborate carvings on the curious metallic surface signifying a reptilian nature. Yeah, everything seems to be reptilian around this place. God, that wasn't very nice. Those guys looked like they wanted to sacrifice me, and I'm not even like one of their species. Whatever they are, I don't know. <sighs> oh, just gotta keep moving. Oh, great, another black hallway. I love these. What are these weird statues? Another flashback coming on. Just keep pushing, Frank. Keep pushing. Oh no! Oh, what the hell? This is the area from the start of the game. This is the start of the game. Yeah, that it's the same hallway where we got up before, and we've got. No more can we harbor ourselves on the safest shores, for there are things that cannot be undone. He's saying the same thing. Oh god, he looked really weird before. I hope he's normal. Oh no. Right, let's left click him. Come on, mate. Don't freak me out here. Where'd he go? Oh shit. Oh, what is happening? That thing. What the hell? Jesus. Uh, where are we? Oh, we're back in the, the house from earlier. Oh. Was, was that a sheer delusion? No. I don't believe it for a second. Oh, we've got a note here. Let's read. Oh, God. Having heightened my knowledge of the arcane arts, I find myself contemplating the subject of universals. Whether definitions exist in the nature of things or in mere conceptions. Illusory and perhaps a sheer product of human language. Our means of receiving impressions are absurdly few and our notions of surrounding objects infinitely narrow. We see things only as we are constructed to see them and can gain no idea of their absolute nature. So what lies beyond the woven limits of the flesh we've been trapped in? And is it really possible to pass beyond it at least once? What do we know of the world and the universe around us? For the last ten years of my rough life, I've lived with the undulating echoes of those scorching questions that they have rendered me a ghost amongst, amongst the flocks. But yesternight, I finally got some answers. During the last session, Frank and I managed to get the printer to work. And even though the results are blurry, 
we have the first empirical proof of what we saw out there. Is this after the expedition? Can I take... Oh, I can take this torch, good. Oh, God. Let's open this up. Oh, shit, we've got the heads. We need to be cautious. Not to let anyone else see this grand collection. It could be extremely dangerous for both of us. Why? I don't even know what it all means. Like, I have so many questions. Oh. A sacrifice ritual mask from Middle Africa. Cool. How about this one? A medicine man mask from Northwest Africa. Uh. You can't see through it. What, what use would it. Oh, there's nothing in that one. Why do we have a crocodile here? A stuffed subadult Nile crocodile. One of the oldest creatures still living on the face of the earth. Cool. But why is that here and why can't we let people see that collection or whatever? And why are there human heads in here? Deliberately preserved heads from Mesopotamian marshlands. Such cultivated minds kept in permanence by getting dried under the scorching sun with methods now lost to us. <laughs> Alright. What about this one? Anything? No? Alright. How about this one? Oh, I guess they all were preserved by the same method. Oh, got some thunder and lightning out there by the sounds of that. Oh, God. Oh, the house is... The house is still, like, destroyed. I'm not convinced that that was all a dream. Uh, not, hmm. not at all. Looks like a preparation for a long trip. Does. Which door first? Let's go this one. Or this one. Oh. This relic is from Madagascar. I have two versions, but this one is extremely rare. It is called Ur Hanalbi. Nobody knows exactly what it means, but from its symbolic depiction of a dark sphere inside a light one, it is thought that it could mean the underworld. I had it. Br oh shit! I thought his dialogue ended. Oh well. How about this one? Oh, same thing. All right. This is exactly the same room I've been in, in one of my visions. It is. Is there anything here that we can use? Oh, we got a penguin. Emperor penguin. Take it. Yay. Cool. How about this cabinet? Oh, nothing in that one. Uh. Oh. Weird painting to have above your fireplace, but if that's what you're into. Got another note. Old friend, what you've told me about the shared nature of the experience the Conarium provides made me think about necromantic means of data inquiry. I am sure you'll remember what I told you about why certain corpses never decay, but rest firm and fat in their tombs for a thousand years. I believe with some help from a certain acquaintance, I can provide you with such specimens. This would be beneficial for both of us, I believe. H. Warren. I don't think I've heard that name before. But anyway, let's have a look in this place. Another. This is from Japan. Mask of an all-powerful moon goddess, esteemed by an eastern island tribe, now lost in time. It is from the private collection of the late famous hermit, Klaus von Herdeth. Don't ask me how I get it. I have my ways. Alright, maybe it's not from Japan. Another cool... A cryptic mask with an untraced origin. Hmm. And this one? Elusive mask from the submerged parts of Kogulin Islands. Cool. I like these masks and the... 
Why the music? Oh. Sudden. Creepy music. I need a phonograph cylinder. I need a phonograph cylinder. I've got another note. Alright, so I've got a lot of notes here to get through. How can we comprehend exactly how much time has passed since the erection of the earliest ziggurats of Samaria? What can we know about the Time Worm Sphinx still standing on the Giza Plateau? They only justify the sheer ignorance of mankind by forcefully making us admit our instantaneous vibrations in the vast cosmos are but an illusion. That's an interesting insight. Today I want to inform you about something that is equally as interesting as such edifices. That's something I presume you will have a hard time believing. Ooh. I have finally acquired some information regarding the fabled cities of Rub al Khali, which are said to have been built in an um, undreamt age of certain wonders and rumour to have been intentionally submerged beneath the eternal shifting sands thousands of years ago. There is even more to the story. According to a reliable source, there should be depictions or information about the locations of ancient conariums buried within those holes. Within a few weeks, you'll receive a book containing the locations of those cities, and a map predating all maps today, directly copied from the antediluvian originals. I'm sure you're excited beyond imagination, eager to discuss the findings in detail, but that will have to wait a while since I'll be away for some time, visiting the oriental wonders of the old world. I'm sure you know what I mean. Hope to see you once soon. Harley Warren, so that's the H Warren from the other letter. But yeah, let's have a look for this phonograph cylinder. Does he have any lying around by chance? None there. More. Ooh. Oh, I can't move. Hmm. Ah. It sounded like the floor is hollow back there. It did. I was wondering what that crack was. It's stuck. Of course it's stuck. It's always stuck. A serpentine ritual mask from India, which is said to have hypnotic effects on the one who deeply gazes into its eyes. Cool. Woodland Lizard Spirit Mask. That's it? Alright. I thought that's one of the cooler looking ones, but... Anyway, let's continue looking through this place. Can't check that one. That one's locked. What about the phonograph cylinder? Oh, that's the office. How about this door? Alright, and this one? Locked. Locked. Oh, the basement. Everyone's favorite place to go. Yeah, everyone loves the basement, right? Oh god, we've got more of this stuff down here. Another note. And a tank of some sort. Can I get through here? Looks like something's missing here. Locked. Hmm. Let's read this note. His third journal entry. Lying outside the known space-time continuum. This is a dimension to which the gate is knowledge and the key is the conarium. As we start to shed our fleshy bindings, we start to perceive more and more. If we inquire by merely knowing and thinking on any subject matter, windows to related time and space open up before our non-material selves, our minds. And what's better, we've grasped that the experience in the sessions are shared and even improved by all of the attendees' personal knowledge. Even thinking about the possibilities that may bestow upon us in our quest for transcending the limits of our mortal bodies is about to make me crazy. But sometimes I wonder what has been keeping our sanity intact inside of this forbidden place, behind the thick walls of pitch darkness surrounding us. There is something looming, whispering in my ears in a language familiar, yet I cannot discern its content. Oh god, some more lovely and cryptic stuff, but can't seem to get down there, so I'll check back up here. I'm guessing I'll need to get through this 
uh, floorboard. Oh, it's in the other room. But anyways, I will do that in the next episode. Had a lot of interesting stuff in this place. And we'll find even more stuff in the next one. But anyways, peace in the Middle East, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank <laughs> you.